Hello everybody and welcome once again to Running Red, the hardcore questing mod from Gideon Simo. And there's a lot been happening. I went and uh, ground the last two with us, so now I can finish off the altar, get to the right place, make two more beacons. Now the two beacons I can go and put by the altar here and it should be a, f a tier 5, we shall see. So. Take that out of there and put one of those down there. It should be the wrong one. There we go. And I've put around the outside here the appropriate, well, ruins. I'm not exactly sure which the best ruins were, but that should be it. And let's hope now this is now a tier 5 altar. Yes, fantastic. So you don't need to light up the beacons with blocks of iron or anything like that. Just put them down. So the first thing we can do is probably make the next level of orb. Let's have a look. I also want to make a sickle. In fact, what I want to do is I want to make a sickle of, let me do this before, haste was the one I wanted, which is this one. The reason I wanted a sickle of haste is I want to add that to a pair of uh, trousers, as it were trousers I hope there where is that ah there we are a demonic slate and two obsidian that's a signal of haste so when that's activated I think it's just like this you go start to move fast and pretty fast indeed so turn that off and I think I can then put that into a pair of armoured trousers from blood magic so in this chest here I've got the stuff all prepared for that I've got three orbs and I'm going to do just one I'll just do the trousers first of all so I need from here uh, is it seven seven I need a blood orb and I need a weak blood shard I think it is and we'll just put that around here like a, a normal pattern And then we'll put into this the blood shard. I click that into that, and then we we'll put into a, a master orb. I'll do it under one, don't I? And the last one I want to put it is a sigil of haste. And that's it now. Right, click that. Now we have a pair of leggings. So let's put those on, see if it makes a difference. Oh yes, that's just walking as normal. That might be difficult to control. So anyway, we've got both. I think you can actually disable this, but um, with this, another signal, that's, that's maybe I should do. <laughs> that's very fast indeed. There is another signal. I think there's an, an inhibit. But it might not be one of these. Let's have a look. water sigil. Nope, don't know which one it is. But this one, if I add the void sigil to it, to some more armour, then we should be able to prevent... Oh, this is really fast. I'll have to get used to that. Right, well, first of all, get this last... Wrong one. Get the last um, empty socket filled means I have to do a bit of preparation in this case grinding of mobs plenty around maybe that's filled up the altar for me so look we need 30,000 and we got 30,090 so we can then turn that on and turn it off and finish off and a few more of these Going on forever today. So we'll put away some of the rubbish we don't want. Zombie brains, zombie fla rotting flesh. And the other thing I want to do Oh look we got some spiders up, let's get rid of those.
probably have enough to do another one by the time I finish this lot. Right, reasonably quiet, but there's another spider and I can see him. And we'll probably end up with some more stuff that we don't want. I think that's about it. Maybe I just go, oh, we just really are fast. I don't know how to turn that off. Oops, don't want that one. Let's turn that one in there. Okay. Oh, that's really freaky. Don't like this at all. Let me just change these trousers over. <laughs> Good for battle. That's better. So, to undo that, we have to do the ritual of unbinding. The next thing I want to do is. No, see, look, I'm got hungry. And I've also got the, the signal under on that. I need to make the last orb. And I'm not sure how we do that. Let's just do this first of all. Because maybe this one, the armored archmage's orb. So that's a demon blood shard, seventy-five thousand LP, and the drain is a hundred per tick. And maybe we can do it. We shall just have to try. I shall take. A dagger at the wrong one. I shall take a dagger of self sacrifice with me, and I will also take at least one or maybe two um, orbs. Not orbs, not chapels. What did I want? Oh, yes, this one here demon bloodshot. We made one of those last time, or gathered, harvested one of those last time, if you remember. Maybe it was a previous time. So I need two nut chapels. Where are they all gone to? There we've got six, and I'll take those. Oh, I'd already got them in my prepared. And I also want to enchant a, so look, a diamond sword, diamond shovel. And the one I want to do is I want to do the diamond shovel with silk touch one and efficiency five. And the cost of that is uh, 17 so we'll do that in the this anvil down here which is the automatic one so that's full so we should be no problem at all so that one plus that gives me this and then I also want to do this one and I'm not sure about unbreaking well anyway I've done it so we've got all three now so that will be a great shovel and the reason I want to have this great shovel is because we need to make um, I want to do this activate the sigil so let's see if we can do 75,000 LP in here I'm not sure because I've got a lot of blood or a lot of um, sacrificial orbs let's what did I just do working my butt I don't need to put the nut shovels in there, do I? Let's take this one. Let's take this one out and get out of the way. So I've never done this before, so I do not know if I'm going to have any success at all. As long as it's got mobs in there, which I don't see at the moment. I've got my flight on have I at the moment I've been using the oops this bound chest plate yes we got some mobs in there still and a man in this I don't know how long it's going to do if it's going to work let's have a quick quick look at this yes it's already it's already empty so maybe we can do this I'm not sure it's going to work but only one way to find out. At least my hearts are working at the moment. If 
if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to try something else. Keeping a close eye on my health. It's not going fast enough, is it? And maybe what I'm going to have to do is to change these to being um, augmented capacity or uh, runes. So I'll take this out of here because I don't think it's going to work. Well, but we could do one other thing as well. And that's we could do this ritual. It's all prepared. So what do I actually need for that ritual? I want my diamond sword. I want, no. Sorry, I want my bound sword. I want this diamond shovel. That big X. I need the pig, the cow. I need the seagull. Maybe I just need the seagull when it glows. I need the cow. I think that's all I need. In fact, the first thing I'll do, of course, is eat my health is low so I'm not sure what's the state let's right click the signal on here oops is it shift right click that's right too late I'm too late so I must be made at midnight and I've got to turn that, take out these torches. That's no problem, we can do that. So I'll have to wait now until the next 20 minutes. So in the meantime, let's do the next armor piece I wanted to do. And that is the chest plate. So at the moment we've got this chest plate and these leggings with the haste in it. And the one I want to do is the chest plate with the void signal. And that's supposed to prevent void damage. Now, testing that's going to be rather interesting. <laughs> I'm rather loath to test it. What I might do, I'll make the chest plate and these, I think, is I'll back up the world and then do a test. Here's the eighth. Try again. So we make a chest plate pattern. We've got eight of these now. So, oh, I do love these particle effects. I think it's just like this, isn't it? So now we need the master blood orb. They're all chest again. I've got two of those already, and a shard. So. So I've actually got three Master Blood Orbs. But these two I can put back into the things. Put that one in there. I'll take the unbound one. Oh, I've got to do it to a different place, of course. Yep. And I will take the Void Sigil, which is this one. And then right click the middle. And now I have an upgraded chest plate with a void sickle. And what that should do is it should prevent fall da uh, void damage. So if I fall into the void, I shouldn't die. Now the test of that is I'm not going to do it just yet. I shall back up the world and do it that way. I think that's probably the best solution, don't you? All right, I'll put these rest of the stuff I don't want in here. I can hear a zombie. Have I missed something? Or is it just the slot being very noisy? Or just the slot being very noisy? Yes, indeed. So, I shall also remove this blood, the demon shard from here. Because that's not. Oh! It did work. Look at that. Now I take this out take this out and I'll make it join it to my network like that put it back in again 
And this will then give us 10 million LP in the network. So it worked as planned. Isn't that great? I'm most impressed. I didn't expect that to work at all. So that's terrific. So the next thing then, so I've got this, I'm going to put this one, and I'm going to leave it off for the time being. We're going to do the this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just pause the video here and come back when it's night time. So I'll see you in about a few seconds in your time and a little bit longer in mine. Bye for now. Right, I'm back. It's coming up towards midnight looking at the clock. So let's get on with this. Now you can see the signal's actually not glowing yet, but when it starts to glow, then it's time. So let's put the cow down here. Let's take these torches. I hope I don't have to lose this cow. If he goes off the edge, I'll have to put it. Just get him again. Take this torch here. And wait until the signal starts to glow. And when the signal starts to glow, then it's midnight. And there shouldn't be any mobs spawning here. Let's just have a look. What's it say? Shift right click, isn't it? Too early, it must be made at midnight. So let's put the cow down again. We'll just wait a little bit longer. In fact, I can wait until the signal starts to glow. And when the signal starts to glow, then we can do the sacrifice. I think we also need to get out of the way. Must be getting very near to midnight now. I should have brought the clock with me, shouldn't I? But everything else is quite peaceful. And when this happens, there'll be a lot of mobs spawning, which is okay. We've got the appropriate weapons. And the one thing I want to do is to capture that. Let me just make sure I've got my signal of magnetism here. Let's get it in the right place. Oh, it's midnight. If we go, cow down. Number one, kill the cow. And then we've got this cursed earth. And we should have a, an activator signal. Oops. So let's get this dug up now, quickly, because if I don't, the mobs will kill. See, it's very good I had this. Let's get this stuck up. Oops. It's going to be difficult, this, isn't it? It's not actually doing anything. Oh, that's really weird. Let's try again. Right, there we go. It doesn't seem to be hurting me. Get, concentrate on getting all of this cursed earth picked up because this will also be great in the mob spawner there's another one Let's go. I haven't got this activated have I try again and this is a go away Oops, he's blowing up holes in the in the stone, but because of this armor, the bound armor, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. Let's get rid of this bump. Oh, he's gone. You can go away. You can go away as well. There we go. Try again. Right, a bit quicker that time. I've got to do this before. It's a very hard one. What does I do with my pickaxe? Oh, it's there. Very exciting. A zombie somewhere? Oh, it's attacking me <laughs> with a bit of dirt. <laughs> I bet I got the dirt anyway. Oh my goodness, this is quite hard work. I hadn't realised Cursed Earth was quite so hard. Right. 
So we can simply now put down some torches. I do not want to have to do this again. And that should now prevent any more mobs spawning. Even though they made a big hole in the mess. Let's have a look what have we got. 48 pieces of dirt, cursed earth. That's, I think I had 49. I must have just dropped one. So now we can do some other interesting stuff with this cursed earth. We can put it at the bottom of the mob spawners and then that we should get some very much more mob spawning in here. Now the question is where? I see this. I can turn that off now, I don't need that. So look at the sickle. See now we've got 1.6 million in here which is fantastic we can get rid of some of this stuff that I picked up in the process but I think that was rather exciting but successful go just for the last five minutes or so if it, there isn't too much banging around at home I just want to have a look back at the bees because that one's empty this one I've combined with a queen a common queen I got two common queens now and this one's breeding some more so all the last thing I need to do is to actually make a few more um, frames especially for the meadow bee so let's do that we need three of these and we need some clay and we could also take some of these hives. These are scented hives. And I can remove this one, which will not be a scented hive, and put up a scented hive here. I actually should also turn off the, the blade. You don't need that as well. And put another one of these up. So these are actually jungle trees, but don't infor unfortunately produce jungle bees. And we can in fact put these two in here. They take us 8,000 I need for those. There should be plenty of blood in this altar. And if not, there soon will be. So let's just turn that on and open wrong one. Let's just check the altar. 35,000, that's fine. Right. Whew. Thoroughly exciting. And it's morning again. So that's why I had the, the jetpack. I was lucky with this jetpack. But of course, if you didn't have a jetpack, you just use potion flask with a slight potion in it. And there is one that goes, as you saw before, nearly 80 minutes or 90 minutes. So that would give you plenty of time to do that little task. The last thing I want to do next episode is to finish off that quest with the Pneumatograph quest. I wonder if actually we've completed any quest in the meantime. Let's have a look. I've got unclaimed rewards for this one, which is great. Let's have a look at the bag. The bag's always interesting. Um, but that one isn't because I have an abundance of metals including tons of iron and I've got this copper now I can put the come over here and put the copper in the sorting system and the copper here where have they gone to and they will then be drawn out of here and actually thrown straight into the bin because I changed the filter on this one to blacklist Copper Aubrey's and here to whitelist Copper Aubrey's. In fact, there was a different blacklist on there, wasn't there? What was that one? Oh, Bose. Yes. Because Bose should end up in here. And I actually put some extra, extra Aubrey's in there as well. Mm -hmm. So, things are looking up. Oh, yeah, but let me just go and finish off these. Have I got any clay? Probably not. Let's just take out. I need some clay. 64 is far too much. To make these 
high um, frames. I need to make three. But the easiest way to do this is to simply divide this into sixteens and take out this healing hive here, another healing hive there, and another healing healing frame. Sorry. And let's go and put those into the one with the meadows be uh, just the meadows no not that one not that one let's which one we're we going to use for the meadows this one will be fine let's go and get the meadows princess and drone and put them into here now in this one here, ah yes, I've got a cultivated drone. That's exactly what I wanted to get. Now this cultivated drone won't be perfect. It'll probably be a cross. We shall see. So we need to get the Bealyzer and have a quick look at the Bealyzer and tell us what it's doing. So let's right click this. So this priest is now half, half, half. So it's cultivated, and this one here is common cultivated. So if we put those together with these chocolate frames, we stand a chance of getting a proper cultivated bee. And this one here will be a mix as well. Let's have a look. These will all be pristine forests, and this one will be forest common. So we can put those away in this chest until they are needed and the gravity guns here if I want to move a fr uh, hive I found the easiest way to move the hive is with the gravity gun but you have to take everything out if you don't whatever's in there will get it will disappear so let's say I want to move this hive and bring it over here away from these trees for instance there then I can do that oops wrong one try again I can then put the stuff back into the into here and take another princess out of here. I think I've got a common. I've got some common drones. What are those? That's a pure common drone. And that's a common meadows. So we can try the common pure common drone with this forest princess, and maybe we get another pure common princess out of this. But I haven't got the, the right frames in there for that. But it does work. So this one, of course, is working away. This one will work much slower because of these healing frames. They extend the life quite considerably. And this one, of course, is doing it. Nearly finished its cycle. When that disappears down, when the bar finishes, then it produces two drones and the queen and a princess. Because this is a pristine stock, so it won't die. So as you see, so let's put those two back in there and let it go and do its net cycle. Then I have some more pure red common drones. Okay, I think that's a shorter episode than normal, 28 minutes or thereabouts, but I think that is quite adequate. I'm very pleased with the, the progress today. See you next time. Bye for now.